put on this mic right now and you let me know if you can hear me. We're going to see if we can uh, put on some music. How about that? No, yeah, but I'm saying what you're hearing or what I'm hearing, we're on two different things. Right. I follow. You know what I'm saying? So there's that audio and then there's this audio. But this audio is way too low. So here's my thing. All of this needs to come up. I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> so let me go down here. <coughs> right? So you see how the levels are there? Pretty good? Right. Okay, and then our levels. It should probably be higher, though, because this is uh, just halfway. Okay. Still sounding good. Yeah, so. I mean, I could put up the line out. Okay, but again, this is th two different things. Mm -hmm. So this is for our recording, but what I'm telling you what we're hearing here mm -hmm. going out. Yeah, this line. Yeah, out. so. I could up the program feed. Oh, it's fine. You want to hear plaster? Please. Oh, it's fine. You want to hear plaster? You got to come in here. All right. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So these are both the lav mics that are on, and then we have an HDMI. See, it's low. A little bit low, right? Yeah, that's just Ableton, I believe. <coughs> so I'm still testing. I can testing. try to... Uh, up the audio in levels. So let me know if this sounds better. I just up the audio in levels. So let me know if this sounds better. Yeah, that's that where it should be. Fine audio, fine volume. And that's where you like to comfortably listen to music. It sounds, you know, like can we play something else at full volume? between friends. So it's about half what it should be. Okay. So it's still testing. Audio levels. Sounds really good. The audio levels sound good now. One, two, one, two. Audio levels. Way too hot. Okay, so what I'm looking at are these uh, mic lines. Um, for you, yeah. One, two, one, two. It's too hot. Audio levels. Way too hot. For both of us? Okay, so what I'm looking at are these uh, mic lines. Um, for you, yeah. 
It's too hot. Way too hot again. For both of us. Okay, so what I'm looking at are these All right, how are we doing now, Blair? How does it sound? So when you turn that gain up mm. like that, we get that. Hum. Okay. Hum. I think it's the uh, feedback. From what? Because your microphone was listening to the uh, the, the speakers that are coming out, so you're having this feedback. But we're on delay. That's true. You're right. I'm still testing. Yeah, I'm testing too. Yo. Hi. Hello. I'm hey. Hi. Michael, nice to meet, nice meet you. you. Yeah, no problem. It's not a big deal. We're looking at uh, settling at these audio levels. Yeah. I think we're good. Sounds perfect to me. Yeah. <laughs> that was just right here. Hilarious. That was just right here. I was like, what? Like, I, really I thought you needed like a certain light or something. I want, like, like a red bull, but Dude, you know what? I don't. I, I can go. The one that I need. I need. Um, I was in a box. Happy time. <clears throat> should I leave this running? Or should we start over another? Oh, my screen? God. We rock it and then we just cut it the way we've been sure. doing all along. Sounds good. I'm concerned about the battery in this. Can you replace it? Just before I run, yeah, that's the uh, one of those. Is, oh, is that my table? Instagram? It was on the table. That's me. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah. So like, that's what I wasn't sure. So the last, so so the other day we had a girl in, who has an art show, tomorrow, and uh, <laughs> isn't that so weird? So we can have videos. We can have anything behind there. Um, but like, it, the color's way off right now because of uh, he's he's fucking with it. There's a delay. Oh. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, if you have a video on there, it just plays. In the back. Yeah. And then, um, so like the last girl that was here last time, right? Um, last time. Yesterday. <laughs> and she has a show tomorrow. Uh, we just, you know, we threw the mics on and we just started bullshitting. Um, I could be in it. I could... Like, check it out, isn't that crazy? It's like, That's so... <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, so, I, I can be in it, I cannot be in it. I don't know, like, like, like for me, I can just, if you just want to start going and talking, like, I don't have to be in I could be over here and just, I can throw questions what at you What I definitely shit. wanted to do... So We don't it, have to have this in it. Like, this is just shit that was in here. Yeah, I really wanted to, like, I guess, do, like, a little thing about the gallery mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah i don't know i thought it'd be kind of funny to like put the painting like behind me but that's why i was supposed to take photos and videos of like i was supposed to do all this shit like all morning and i like i totally dropped the fucking it, it's okay well that's why I, that's why i had him pull up your instagram because is there something do you have what's crazy is that we can also have it hooked up to where um Cause all I, I thought, cause I just kind of, I thought it'd be cool to do like a thing, talking about like the gallery, like yeah, a little snip, and then talking about the art. Well, we can. So, so is there anything online from the gallery? Not yet. Not yet, right? Well, there's like the flyers and stuff, mm -hmm. like you know that it's happening. 
but sneak peeks wise of like the actual art I've only posted like two yeah and I don't know do you even want to show your art because you want people to go to the gallery or what do you like, do you, like well this is going to be for like if you didn't go to the gallery okay too, kind okay. of thing okay okay it's going to all kind of come out after cool, cool. you know yeah like yeah FOMO kind of thing like you should yeah. have been there because this is how cool it was because these aren't going to exist in my possession from like you can put the day after the gallery yeah yeah that's yeah that's because yeah, that's sure. the fucking yeah. I have, like, I've made so much art in my life, and so much of it has just been literally lost mm. by inconvenience, like, just pieces just gone. Like, I, I lost all of my art that, like, well, that's the kind horrible of, UPS accident, and then I had... Well, that's the thing, is that we can just start talking about your relationship with art yeah. and your life, is what I kind of, like, your life with, when it comes to art, like, your inspirations and shit and whatever else, and what inspired you for this. Or you can talk about, like, you can talk about anything. I mean, you and I sit there and talk all the time about mm -hmm. lots of things. So, that being said, uh, no rules, really. You know, I just, was, I just want to make sure we nail what you want behind us, you know? Okay, yeah. Um, because we could... Well, yeah, that's why I wanted to do, like, the little videos and stuff of the... Well, of do you want... Art pieces, because it would have been, like, kind of, like, a cool little... Do you want to, um, uh, is there like any like crazy, is there a crazy video that you just like in general? And then we can just show the art and it's just wild as fuck behind us? Because that we can do too. Like anything yeah. on YouTube we can throw back there and it can yeah. just be playing and it can be wild, you know? Like one time I had these kids in here playing music and we just had a slam dunk compilation from the NBA behind well, them that's and it was, was so I weird was and like, like I was random. like, hold on, if you need like a long oh. video, I was like, I have a long video. Like we can like, like, it's Black Sabbath live in Paris. Yeah, I love. I, I, full I, show. It's like I, fifty minutes. Long. I, 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 I love that show. I so I'm that way into that. A hundred percent into that. Cool. That's so funny. Well, so this is so. Is this for your guys' studio? Um, this here. No, this is yeah. just here. But yeah, if you want them, that's what they are. Well, um, but I can still take like pictures, right? Yeah. I, damn, I'm just so, because I didn't get my film. Well, we have the other, we have, yeah, I mean, the other studio is, like, like, we're always here. Yeah, because that's what I, well, like, I, this well, is our, this is our green screen studio. Mm -hmm. The other ones are photo studio. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, too. Those ones is coming. in, um. So, and, sorry to interrupt. Do you know how to change from autofocus to manual focus on this camera? Oh. The right. real problem. Yeah. Is this a slightly out of focus? So I can't Go to the back. Um, hold on one second. There's this autofocus option here. Yeah. But, uh, oh, there you go. Click like that again. So it should be. Do you think? Because I was just gonna. Macro mode, which is. Because I, I was just gonna go to the menu. I've seen like DPs and shit go to war over focus. Uh, like yeah. you know the little that knobby yeah, thing yeah. they work with. Yeah, I've seen First them. AC. Yeah. Ooh. I've seen them go to war over like. You were out of focus for that shot. Like we needed you to like throw focus over there. It's I don't know so what I. I don't yeah, know. I mean, that's when you control everything for your shot. You got it. Makes sense. I mean, you're you're wasting your time if it's not. It really because it's like. Blair, do you know how to? You, have you ever seen how to? Maybe it's off when you put it on off. I don't. I, I don't really know. When you did that. Um, See, it's like the. The focus is off. He wants to take it from auto to manual. So Blair, she's thinking Black Sabbath live in Paris, 1970. We'll get pulled. You think so? It's already on YouTube? Will it get pulled? Yeah, the music thing will like, catch it. Oh, shit. Is oh, it? well, we won't have to play the music. Yeah, just, it's just them. Like, it's just a oh, yeah. shitty camera video. That's why I like it. <laughs> it's like someone oh. in the crowd. Oh, cool. That's what I like about yeah. it. It feels like you're there. <laughs> as much as you can be. That's tight. Then I'm gonna email this to you now, Blair. We gotta do like a VR uh, interview we'll one day. Uh, we'll just, uh, <laughs> Why don't you tell me the name of the movie? 
Okay, so, it is. It comes up as Black Sabbath, live in Paris, 1970, full show. On YouTube. I think it'd be kind of cool to scroll through my Instagram for like a couple Yeah, we could totally yeah. do that too. You know what I mean? I think that's kind of funny. It's like a, it's a kind of little like personality piece, I think. You know what I mean? Like that's what she usually posts anyway. Yeah. Like, no, that's, ever, that's what we're like, and like what's really funny is like sometimes too, if we were, if we had like your, if we were logged in as you, we could have your stories that you would be watching of other people's stories playing too. Oh, that's or, cool. Or you can, um, but the problem is, is that it's all like worked uh, on that side. We don't have like a, like she was just like, oh, I right, scrolling through my Instagram would be cool, but like one of us I'm, can do it. Because I'm one of those people who we can do cares about their now. theme. Yeah. yeah. That's why I picked up Oh, that. Black Sabbath in Paris. 1970. 1970. Yeah. 1970. Oh, so you know, we're re recording everything right now? Cool. Okay. Yeah. So. We're live? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, our, for our 15 subscribers. But we'll, we're live for our 15 subscribers. We'll chop it. <laughs> we'll chop this whenever we officially start. <laughs> Is it the top one? These yes, my, it's the top one. These are my sponsorships for the video. Yeah, Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, Wildflower Cases, and Sean's Sweet. No, this and is... Uh, other people's children. <laughs> this is great, actually, yeah. with Ozzy. That's fantastic. See? That's a cool video, right? Yeah, That's what I like about it. That. Nice one. Um, I use it because I, I do these really weird videos on my YouTube channel where I, kind of, I call it Scary Girl in the Booth. And yeah. it's like this really weird like webcam art house like Andy Warhol film and I always like find weird videos like this to play in the background of it I love and it. and then I'll put another video on top of it which is like my video I love it I love it okay Look at that hair it's cool <sighs> this is cool yeah so yeah I'm stoked for you to shoot all the stuff this week like yeah you can shoot it next week or whenever you chill when it shows out and then we'll because we'll I'm gonna definitely be taking pictures of all of the art from like well, while it's like hanging up real cool in the way it's being presented at this like the actual gallery. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I want to just do some cool shots of the art. Sometime. Yeah. Sometime like a real good like kind of, you know how Renaissance portraits look, the real nice lighting, uh -huh. like on uh -huh. like a on something. I want that to be like instead of the bowl of fruit, it's my painting. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah, that's kind of what I want. Because I'm not gonna see these after the gallery. We're doing a really cool raffle oh, at the amazing. gallery to get rid of all of the art because I've lost all my art my whole life. Yeah. Like, I so you're so you're one of the you're 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 one of the the few that is okay with letting go. Well, yeah. I used to not be, and then yeah. life made me. Yeah, because you just like lost things along I the way. I lost things like I had a whole box of my art from college, like from college, from childhood. It was like all the art I just kind of held on to like my whole life. Yeah. And I had it in college. And I moved from college to LA and like UPS was like, oh, you just tossed that box. You didn't pay for it when you left the store. I was like, I have a receipt. And they were like, oh, well it's. Uh, and then I was like, okay, well I have like no art. And then I started making more. How long did more. it take you to let that go? Okay. It was a minute, right? I don't think I've ever let it yeah, go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause I'm like, what the fuck? That would just made no sense. Yeah. And then I had all my art again and then I had to move again. And it's all in storage. I just don't have it near me. And yeah. So all this is fantastic conversation. Um, so why don't we do a hard like we're starting now yeah. intro, and then and however you want to do it. And if you want to tell anybody, we're on Child Support Studios right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Do we want to tell anybody on our Instagrams that we're on right now, or yeah. do you want to wait? Are you, yeah. Give me a link. Okay. We'll do a good hard intro. This is your camera right here. I'll I'll turn it towards you so that you can see yourself here. Yeah. This is another, this is your camera and this is... So that Justin. one's mine. Yeah, I, normally, I had it faced right here for you. Okay, so... So here's where we're at. So cool. Look at this. That's <laughs> us! Yeah, that's us right, right there. there. <laughs> What's the link? I have the, uh, I, I'm a, I have the call to action button. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Childsupportstudios.com. Child support. The call to action button. That's what we're missing. I hate that. That's what they call it. The call to action. I'm like, you can't call it just 
link. I'll check it out, yeah, see, he's able to pull, he, he can roll through your Instagram. Oh, hell yeah. Time. If you have questions, audience, feel free to ask. There's tons of great content on my Instagram. Savannah Lear Rose. <laughs> I, can't even, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how the weather woman does it. So that, like that. Yeah, it's about to it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I love it. Call to action. Swipe up. Yeah, you, I'm gonna do. I'm doing a full verified account like story post here. This is an art for people. Yeah, no. That's Some people make their did whole they, did, career. Did you, did you go to Instagram then for, the, for them to teach you how to do that? No, I just I was a teenage girl. <laughs> My whole life. <laughs> and I just really like Instagram. I like it. I'm so glad you're here. I am too. Um, I can't and believe I'm very I made it. excited for your show. Oh God. On Monday. Monday, yeah, already. Monday. Monday. Okay. All right, I'm just, I'm just putting really cute stickers on my face. There you go. That's what you have to do. And you brought so much art with you, so I'm excited to share yeah, all that. Yeah, let's put over here. So yeah. We can, yes. We can, we'll do like, let's that's put my the, lucky number. My lucky number is seven. We can do like seven pieces, and I'll talk about them. On, yeah. the, on the thing? Yeah, I'm not going to reveal it yet, though. Because this one... It's not really done either. This one. I work to the last minute. I'm Tim Gunn. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Gunn. <laughs> My sick IKEA bag. Yeah, we'll do like. There we go. You can pick seven random ones and we'll talk about them. Okay. How about this? How about each time I go over there and pick a random one? Yeah, because I don't want to do all of them. Yeah, no. We don't. Keep That's the war of surprise. Oh, I forgot my water. I need my water for this. Okay, so, hard start? Hard start, okay. <clears throat> so, Child Support Studios, wait, what did you say to say? Whatever you want. Whatever you that's want. just the title though, yeah, right? Yeah, no, that's, okay. yeah, that's, that's, that, that's, that's where we're at. All right, are you ready? <sighs> Hi, my name is Savannah Lira Rose. We are here live at Child Support Studios. <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> dot com. HTTP. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, Savannah, I'm, I'm so happy you're here. Thank um, you. I'm excited for your show on Monday. Um, I have never seen any of your work in person, so that makes it even more special. Not um, a lot of people have. Everyone I work with, Savan, I'm one of her agents um, for fashion stuff uh, at LA Models, and then also she works with us. <laughs> with other people's children and now she's doing her first thing with child support studios which i'm excited about i am having my first uh gallery exhibition here in la with flutter experience this is the first time i'm going to be like unveiling a new wave of art and my new style that i've kind of developed over the years because this isn't the first time i've ever like shown art to people i had a uh, i had i got picked to do a piece for the Phoenix Indian Center for this big art gala auction they have. Okay. So the piece was going to be auctioned off for proceeds to benefit the center. Yeah. And that was the first time I got to like be a part of like a professional like art like gala and be like a professionally like viewed artist. And yeah. It was so sick. And after that, I made a lot of art, but I went to college and like I was telling you, like all that shit like went out the door. Yeah. And so this is like a whole new like renaissance period for you yeah I my love mom it. was I like what are you gonna call this period like you know how <laughs> they call picasso like yeah. the rose the blue and all yeah, that yeah <laughs> yeah no it's funny because i um i describe the girls that i work with as renaissance women all the time because mm. i don't i don't have any artists that just do one medium i don't even know if like that's a generational thing that just like stopped when you said you grew up with the internets yeah like the internet changed you don't get that. like one trade no, anymore. no, because you're exposed to so much, I think, at a young age where you're like, why would I only do that? Why wouldn't I be curious and want to experience this? There was that? a person on, uh, like, Twitter I saw, and they had, they were, I, like, followed them for a second because they were curating their own content, which I feel like is a very important conversation of, like, what is curated, like, content and, like, the levels of it, I guess. Because mm -hmm. she was, like, she had, like, this home studio, 
and she makes like all of her stuff and, like she makes the whole set takes the whole photos edits it all out and she didn't really know what to call herself for like a while because she was like i'm doing like everything i'm like modeling yeah s like stage setting like all this stuff and yeah. she was like she's like but it feels like that's what you can call it and i was like i get that yeah yeah there's no. just so much you can do and like you can e even if you don't have like a professional studio and like professional like network behind you you can still be on youtube you can yeah. still be on instagram like everybody you knows. have a pla you have platforms yeah. right? you have just as much access to the platform as like nbc <laughs> yeah it, that's that's what's really wild i mean I, I i think that um this environment here is kind of art schooly yeah. to be honest i fucking love it i feel like i'm on wayne's <laughs> world What's good? What's good? Yeah, it, it, <laughs> yeah it does feel like wayne's world the only Schwing. you know the i'm in delaware <laughs> Delaware. <laughs> yes, Delaware. exactly. I think I drove through Delaware once. Oh, and yeah? I had to say that to myself. And <laughs> yeah. Nebraska. I, I was in Nebraska too. Oh, yeah, Nebraska's Nebraska. beautiful. <gasps> oh, my oh, God. Here it comes. This is the fucking video. Yeah, this is the best. Oh, yeah. Um, yes. I'm it's so funny that you, that you brought. I, I, they have a big inspiration. All my, in my, all my, all my coolest friends know about this concert. Fuck yeah, because this is like, because it's. It's too cool. It's Paris. It's yeah. The 70s. Yeah. The whole it's thing. It's like right peak Sabbath, like yeah, yeah. of their millennium. And the then, whole thing. Uh, this is a. Uh, yeah. This has like a lot of influence from Sabbath because I got through like a real heavy phase of like I stopped. I actually wanted to read the lyrics and read like the history of like that time of like writing yeah. it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I got really interested in like just kind of how the music came about mm -hmm. and like how you birth heavy metal <laughs> yeah. like in an era like how the fuck you do that because no yeah. one knows that now no you know here's the thing is that i don't think you can i you i don't know that you could i'd like to think you could birth heavy metal or punk or gangster rap i'd like like or now disco. but i don't know i don't i just don't know if it would if it, I, I just don't i i it's easy to, to see those artists here now um um and think, oh yeah, that would have happened these days, but I don't know. You know, you never know with the with the current environment that like we live in. You always think about. Do you ever think about like what's next? Not like in the trendy like, ooh, what's everyone gonna be wearing? But like, what's next? Like I always think that like, who's gonna? Is there gonna be like a new genre? You know how grunge came about? Like, oh with yeah. Nirvana. Like, is there gonna be that band? Are we gonna get to experience something like that? Yeah, I would love for something like that to happen again because I would love for something to happen that makes me be like, okay. My identity has just shifted after I've witnessed this. I feel like that's going to be me if I ever get, like, the balls to play guitar, like, in front of people. Yeah. But that takes so much balls. Yeah. That takes so much webbles. Yeah. Well, this does, too. Showing your art definitely does. Yeah. And we're only going to show a few of your pieces, so not to spoil the surprise for mm -hmm. Monday. Um, but, mm. yeah, let's, uh, let's, get the, let's get the cracking, huh? Yeah, this is cool. Because I want to hear the who, what, when, where, why on these bad boys. Oh, I've been locked in the studio. I've been at focus. Here, I got this. I'll do. I'll do. I'll do a little. Hold on. So you want me to? You want me to? So do one of these and just pick something, or you want to? This let's start counts with this. as one. So you have seven. I definitely want so to just know about one. this. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's yeah. let's hear about this. this guy. This is. I've had this bag, and it's been in this bag forever. So I kind of let it travel in this bag. Oh. Where'd you get the bag? Um, my grandma got it for me. Oh, I don't amazing. know where, but it's just cute. She knows I like yarn yeah. <laughs> and like woven things. This. It's, um, oh my god. <laughs> it's I, a cow skull. Yes, it is. And, and I love all of the little like sparkle things that are kind of blinging around it. Yeah, we, uh, I, I, you know, for everyone who doesn't know me, I am uh, from the San Carlos Apache Reservation, Arizona. I'm a San Carlos Apache woman. I was born in Arizona and raised there with my grandma and my mom. And in San Carlos, it's a desert, like an actual piece of fucking desert, you know. Yeah. And cows die in the desert. And my mom likes to go hiking behind our house. And behind my house is a giant mountain and a giant open clearing of like miles. So yeah. she goes back there to like walk to this old windmill that's like miles away. And she found this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I have one at home, too. Um, same, similar situation, except for not from the desert, from Missouri, where I grew I up. I put little, like... But that is really ill. 
Yeah. I'm not done. That's why. I was You're still going. Work in still progress. Going. But and I thought it looked kind of cool. So do you do you think that like like I what I love about the show that you have coming up and the like the flyer the vibe, it's very everything about it is very like I don't know it's uplifting and light. Right for like a. Because, well, I like to talk about that because I, I, a lot of my art exists in contrast because yeah. I feel like my, my head space, the way I grew up, very dark. Yeah, well, that's, well, that's, well, that's what I'm finding very interesting and about so this because I, reason, I appreciate I the, darkness that I, yeah. the darkness that I feel. You're like, you're, but, this, <laughs> but this, is a per, this actually describes you really well because you have that. You have both. When, you're, when I interact with you, I feel like there's both there. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I, I experience like there's a, there's a deep, and a darkness that's awesome and then also you can tell it's powerful and can be like your best friend and your worst enemy at the same time. Oh yeah, you can be your own worst enemy. Um, but then also like there's also like a very like a lightness of the way that you how you interact with people and well, it's, it's cool. Well because like you know how thank you so much for saying that because yeah. that's kind of I don't know I, I, I'm very hypercritical over analytical of my own work and like you know of how I compliment my work and you know judge it and critique it but I guess in my head how I kind of started was like when I first started making art and like I was like okay I'm sad let's start there yeah. like arts like my basis of art and like the understanding of like when you create art you're just supposed to paint your emotions that's yeah. literally it you can paint a picture but if there's no emotion in it like it's still just a fucking normal picture so like if you want to make art just paint your emotions it's still yeah. art it counts as art yeah uh, that's kind of like abstract expressionism what it's like that truly that like just putting it on canvas counts even yeah. if it's like you know all splashed yeah it's yours yeah so I was like okay I'm sad and I'm sad about like normal teen things but like on a really depressing scale so do I what do I like am I gonna write like I don't know I guess I didn't want to be too literal with my sadness yeah I didn't want to like draw like very literal imagery or like that you know? point where when you're growing up and you watch you're like well on the movies when they're sad they go and they drink at the bar and they look at people and they're angry and then some and you hope that someone comes around and cheers you yeah. up like the movies or whatever and i like that like when you see these things and like the title of the gallery is blood and diamonds and i have like a i'll be you'll be uh, coming out with the whole like thing i wrote about like of how kind of how i came to that idea because it is a contrast in yeah. my mind yeah because um this is expressing it this way felt more honest to me than you know like how you usually get to see depression yeah and I feel like this was like a I don't know I felt like I felt like it was just it made it more morbid in a weird way like such happy colorful like colors and texture with like such a morbid undertone well, with yeah this, right? like it's actual death like yeah it's like that's the point on one of the my favorite conversation of blood and diamonds is that blood represents a lot to me mm -hmm. and diamonds represent a lot to me blood can represent award sacrifice um like what's like the other one I, I wrote like three words and then diamonds can also represent like award and sacrifice and like but they you know but they're not as like less gruesome and there's this like really interesting contrast that i like to play with and i was yeah. like well that's to, 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 for any of them to be i mean for you to have any of it either one of them in your hand there had to have been some sort of physical you had to get something yeah. to get this and that's what i was really playing with because yeah. i'm in this industry i'm chosen to be in this very active industry of you know modeling art and acting and that's a very vulnerable very like I have to, you know, present myself kind of thing. It's very, you have to be, you have to be watched. You're, yeah. you're, you're viewed and that's kind of interesting. And a lot of that causes and conspires so much negativity and so much scary shit to happen. Yeah. Like so much harm can happen to you, whether it be like self-inflicted, inflicted from other people, you know, whether you, like, it's just so much, there's so much here. I, and, I, I right? See, like, there's, like, I, yeah, so I much, see, and it I, causes I see, people so much chaos. I see it with the individuals that I represent where I'm just, like, I just know instead of... Sometimes people don't like to take breaks from things, mm -hmm. especially if the thing gives them fame because they're afraid that it won't come back if they take a break. And you see the self-destruction because they, cause they're like, I can't just say, oh, I'm going to take a break. But if I self-destruct, people will make me take a break. I'll feel it's, it's then, easier than asking for help, right? Yeah, yeah, totally, <laughs> totally, totally. That's where I really think I get really up in arms about social media is like it fucks with people's perception of patience. 
in yeah. time, which I feel like is really important. Because I grew up on the res where time moves like really fucking slow. Yeah. You don't see development of cities and roads and bridges. You don't see the literal physical like site of. I'm really glad time. that we're on the side because I've never I've <laughs> never heard anyone's experience growing up on a reservation. Yeah. Right? So it's 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 very it's slow. It's chill. It's because it has to be. You know, that's anything else would be chaos. So yeah. coming here and seeing. All oh, the absolute chaos and calamity mm -hmm. that like can, mm -hmm. like just happens because of it. It's yeah. You you know you gotta let it out somehow. Yeah. Well, I see how you're letting it out over here with the with the arch. So let's let's do this. Um, we have this one piece up, but let's. You want you want me just to pick one, or how do you want to do that? Yeah, I'll leave this guy like over here. That's cute. Cool. I'm going to pick what my eyes went to first, and I don't know why. Oh, cool. It goes this oh, way. Yeah. Oh, I wish we had like a little table to put it on or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can. I can get one. Yeah. Just let that lean against your f leg, and I'm going to grab Kitty. a. Blair is hooking us up. That's Blair in the back, ladies and gentlemen. Blair. Blair. Blair Green, the one and only. <laughs> Yeah, He's he, he actually might be. Oh my yeah, gosh. yeah. Do you want us to move this to some? Little yeah, I'm gonna table? just put it back in the bag. Yeah, Here you go. Cool. Oh yeah, this one is one that I was like kind of really struggling with. It's a pair. There's another one in there, but I, you only picked one. Maybe you'll pick the other one. But um, that one actually, it came out way better than I expected, and that always makes me happy. Do you find? Oh. Rest. When you're when you're when you're making a piece like this, where you're actually deconstructing some of the what was there previously, like the canvas, mm -hmm. is there? Um, did you set out to do like this? This piece has so much going on. Do you mm -hmm. set out to do a piece that has a lot going on, or do you just keep adding because it because you you, you well, feel like it's not artist, there yet? I feel like my. If you had a genre, if you put me on a label, it would be abstract expressionism. Yeah. Very chaotic, violent expression of emotion. It's going to be, I have a reason I did it like this, but it's very up to interpretation. Mm -hmm. What you see, what you, yeah. what you happen to like get from it. And so that's why I chose to be a little more yeah. literal here. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> uh, I think he's looking for it. We had an easel somewhere. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. We did. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, anyway, my art's like always kind of chaotic and you can go kind of cheesy with chaos and that's where you have to be able to come back and choke back and mm -hmm. that's why this whole gallery is like the way it is and that's why i'm really proud of it mm -hmm. so this piece yeah is um it's it meant i wanted to cause harm to it uh -huh, okay because all the pieces in the gallery either can cause you harm have been harmed or have yeah. a conversation of harm okay. blood and diamonds that conversation of like give, take, award, like just all the things that those like words can represent. And so yeah. this one is, uh, it's stitched together. The oh, you stitched it, that's with cool. another With the other one. Oh, so wow, this okay. one has a piece of the other canvas. So and the you Frankensteined it together yeah, like that, so that's cool. Yeah, it's a pair of them. Uh, that's, that's what, okay, I was wondering what made the pair, now mm -hmm. I get it, okay. Yeah, so the other one has this. That whole, on, like, on, on yeah. as like the whole, and, yeah. Yeah, so they share that and then um, these, it's all dripping. You know, drippy, cool. I like texture. I like thick texture. I like what they do. I like, when I look at my art, I like to look at it real close. So in my eye, you can look back and you see all the drip, but I like to look real close and I just like looking at it. I just like looking at what the blood does to the paint, the texture. There's like bubbles. Do you have blood on there? Yeah. There's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that you, I love that you glossed there's over bubbles. that. Yeah. A and little then, blood on there. Okay, what, what, human blood or what? Your no, blood? No, it's fake. Fake blood. I, I'm not Andy Warhol. I'm not pissing on my paintings yet. But I was thinking <laughs> about it. I fucking thought about it. That's hilarious. But I love texture. I love texture. Yeah. I just love visual stimulation. Yeah. And then this is my favorite. It says, Oh, it yeah, says, we could put this right back here. Death comes for all. And it's a cute I, little I know, I saw that. I love that. I, I love to see anything to talk about. Yeah. Woo! I love seeing uh, um, anything that. Oh, I feel like are we? Are we too? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're too. We're too high. Let's do this. 
Bob Ross. Boo Bruce. Oh, there you go. Bruce too, production head. Oh, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Ish. This one's got to go down a little bit. You can go down to the table. Like it needs like a, oh, to the table. Yeah, true. Yeah, good call. Perfect. Or a little higher, yeah. There you, that's great. Okay, I'll yeah. come in. You can keep there. This is a cool easel. Yeah. Sick. Make sure that we don't knock this bad boy down. Cool. We good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 sick. So. Or am I? I think we're okay. It just this. I think we just need to bring that. Okay. That was just my decision taking. There we go. I went now. to art school. <laughs> I have to do shit like this or I feel like I'll go crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, I love, what does it say, Dex, death comes for all? Yeah. Yeah. It's very Frankenstein. How do you feel, how do you feel about death? Are you, are you, um, oh, I'm too, I'm too close to it. Yeah. I'm too grounded. I'm too, like, I'm too, in, I'm just, you know, I'm too, just know it too well. I yeah. guess I have a relationship with it. Not yeah. everyone is that, does. Is that, is that a? Is that you think that's a cultural thing from <gasps> from? I feel like uh, it kind of accidentally happened to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like for a while, I don't think I don't think I think we had a very beautiful relationship with death and how we understood and how like we chose to view afterlife. You know, yeah, as, exactly. Like, our spirituality, but as all the fuck shit happens, colonization, you know, all the stuff. Yeah. The like intergenerational trauma is the big word because like it goes down. Can like, you explain people. that? Inter inter intergener in yeah. Yeah, intergenerational trauma. So it's like uh, with Native American history, you know, it started with, you know, once they decided, yeah, we're just going to kill as many as we can so yeah. that we can build roads and bridges and have, you know, capitalist society. Yeah, we society should really take the land, exactly. We're going to do this. So what happens is, like, the people that survived the first wave had children, most likely. We still had children. Then those children suffered like another wave, and then those children, as far as my history, it goes down like a couple centuries of yeah. pain, and then it comes down to, if you want to get as recent as it can, to the boarding school era was like the last stand of like us holding on to what we were just what we were, yeah, without being fully assimilated into society. Yeah, boarding school era was for the Native American like children to be assimilated mm -hmm. to, you know, cut your hair, learn how to speak English, right? You know, yeah. be a normal American person, whatever. Yeah. And so those people had children. Yeah. Those children are all fucked up because those people are fighting with all this stuff. Yeah. And those kids have kids and they're assimilated more. There's a bigger, more assimilation. And then there's still all this fuck shit because no one's dealt with whatever happened. Yeah. And then it goes down to those kids and then it gets down to us. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah. And it's really not that long ago. It's no, which no. is crazy, right? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 it, it'd be it's like if you put it on a ago. fucking timeline and yeah. like how severe of like the trauma, like when you say the word trauma, like what that means is like the government like when I not like a fucking like conspiracy theorist government, no, but like the literal US government doing genocidal tactics on these people. Yeah. Since like the seventies. We had we barely got our voting rights, like in the seventies. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like that shit's crazy. Like there's so much stuff that happens so late. Yeah. And then we were born. Like my mom had me and her so my grandma is barely like on that line of affected. So yeah. like my generation's all like, Okay, well, we have um the internet. We know what's good at least now, but everything's still all fucky and weird. So yeah. I think we have this really close relationship with death because we just find like history and by like nature. Yeah. Because like yeah. I grew up like I grew up like doing like I like I've I've like skinned things for like ceremony for like you know for the meat mm. he's the hide he's the bones like I have like yeah. that idea of death with animals rather yeah. than like veganism you yeah. know, which is like don't kill them yeah. I have a relationship of like you can if you do it in this respectful way that coexists with the ecosystem and allows them to move, yeah. you know, all that shit. Yeah. So yeah, it's no, just close. It's like yeah. I've seen death. I've been to death. I've seen all kinds of ways people have handled death. 
Yeah. So when I talk about it, it's not like in that like you know moody teen hot topic. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. I just yeah. Have that's this why. Well, that's why I asked because I know that's that's not where yeah. it's coming from. Like, you it, know? No, yeah, it's, it's not, not like, like oh, like, I want to die because I'm sad. No, it's like I just have this crazy ass relationship with death that I didn't do by choice. My yeah. life is just. It's just been there in a weird, like, you can't lie about it. Yeah, it. yeah. Like, death, right? Like, that's great. Yeah. It's like, it's the word, but it's like, whoa. Well, that's that's why I brought it up, because you have it in this piece that's so bright and so colorful. Right, beautiful. Yet, dis- yet, yet destroyed and Frankenstein together uh, from the other piece. When you, death isn't taken lightly because it's light. No. It's just that... That's you why know. I think it's more morbid to take it slight with like the whimsy, mm-hmm. <laughs> whimsical mm-hmm. is like the word I've been hearing and like telling myself a lot, and that's what I kind of like. Is I feel like it makes it way more dark. I love the uncanny valley of things. Yeah. Like you know the the my favorite example of that teddy bear with a full set of human teeth. Like yeah. Someone dentally implanted like it with teeth, like a teddy bear. And it looks okay. Real fucked I've up. never seen that. It's a morbid picture. We should pull it up and put it in the background. <laughs> teddy bear with teeth. <laughs> with human teeth. Teddy bear with human they teeth. They put like some everybody. That's Michael Plaster back yeah, there. Yeah, they put doing like a thing. denture set in a teddy bear, and it's I don't know. That shit's creepier than if I drew like a if I drew like a scary face with blood yeah. and dripping. You know, like real just spooky deathy. Then yeah. you can be like, oh okay. Yeah. Duh. Well, you know, it doesn't. Duh. It's 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 also the thing where Duh. how people are terrified of clowns. <laughs> you know. And and you're like, well, that's because you're not supposed to be terrified of clowns. I'm not. This one, this one has a lot of oh. layers to it, so let's rock this. That guy. one, yay! That now, is this cool. the way that you want this one? That would go any which way, and that's what I like yeah, about that's, it. Yeah, that's that's cool. Um, yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Monsters. Look at all the other ones behind me. That's cute. Yeah, but the one with the dentures on, behind my head is, is uh, my this head's moment. blocking it. Help. Oh, here, there we go. Oh, wait a minute. How did? Where are you at, Teddy Bear? <laughs> it's so scary. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So the Teddy Bear, the Uncanny Valley, which is a conversation that's kind of recently happened of a. Uh, Spooky when it's when it's scary without being presented to you outright, which I feel like Chambers had a really good amount of uncanniness, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like a good amount of like what's happening I don't understand and it's making me scared. But that's the point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's the point. You're not supposed to get it, and mm-hmm. that's why it's scaring you. Mm-hmm. But it will unveil itself. To it's you. kind of it's kind of in a lot of ways like when people are scary because they're nice, okay. and you're just like they want to be like they're trying to put up the scary act. Yeah. So let's talk about this though. This piece. Um, so my I love roots, this section. Oh, thank you. So this is what I talk about when I say I view visually in like this. My art, like my if I were to if I were to sit down and do another gallery that's more, I guess, because I had to do this whole studio in like a different space in a different with a whole new. That's kind of like what happens when I end up creating art. I'm always like in a place where I wasn't ready to create. Yeah. I wasn't ready in my usual way. Yeah. If I sit down and like my and like if I had everything I wish I had at the way, it would come out more like this, which is kind of funny. That's how my art has always been, like yeah. the more progress. I, I'm but, like um, that too. I, I as 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 split decision and on the the seat of my pants or whatever by the seat, whatever that saying is, as I can be. Yeah. Um, and quick on my feet when I'm creating something, I. I'm not just the guy that rolls up and then just starts doing yeah. it. I don't. I just like I, ha- I, can, I can, but can. I'm not as stoked on it afterwards yeah. when I do that. I, I like to feel a sense of pride. This one's really. I'm really happy it came out the way because it's very nostalgic of like the style. I like. I like texture. Yeah. I love that you can just stare at it. Yeah. And you're just like, there's so much going on. Like everything's interesting. There's all kinds of stuff here, and I this I love doing these. I love when the pieces themselves are almost yeah. have so much within them. Like this, this part has so much color within mm-hmm. it. This part has all this. Yeah, you can it. just get lost in this uh-huh. right here. That's why I like. That's kind of want it to be. What my, uh, I was obsessed with as a child globes that had, were like like mountain ranges and things were. They were it was oh, raised yeah, like and this. Oh yeah, the the topographical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you know, and this kind of it gives me that. But oh, like this is a, like a far that. off like land of like, three B. Beautiful, you know. 
and happy like, but maybe scary I land. I drip all kinds of waves. I just yeah, like, so what's the what's what's I your like process? Motion. I like how, motion. Is that how, I feel like when you when the when I see drips, that means motion. Yeah. It was moving. You know, like to get this effect, it had to move on its own and you had to allow it to just go that way. Like yeah. if I force manipulated it, you could see it, you know. Mm -hmm. no, you so totally I could. love just kind of Putting it there, letting it go, whatever happened the way I happened to have it, moving it around, and then in the, I developed this texture of mixing glitter, like fine fine glitter with acrylic paint. Okay. To, it gets to this tech, and you mix it till it gets. You add so much until it gets to this texture that's almost like cake frosting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say that like and this kind of makes me. It, it kind of makes me hungry in like a sweet tooth way. Yes. Like I look at some of it this and it looks frosting. like rock candy, and I'm like, okay. I'm gonna that's only paint. keep working with it because it looks like frosting. It yeah. has this like grab to it, and that's what I like about it. It yeah. looks like vomit when it's on here. <laughs> it is. It's, it, no, that's, that's cool. this it. Like this is this is literally beautiful vomit. I work in layers. <laughs> and I like to work in layers. So there's a lot of layers here. And that's what I really like about these ones. Like when they come out that way, it's like because you can. Uh, what's what's the one about? Oh, I could do that. You know, someone's gonna look at that and they're gonna be like, oh, oh, I could do that. And but you didn't, bitch. <laughs> this one's mine, and that's what's cool about it. This one is mine, and I'm proud of it. And that's what I like about abstract expressionism. It's so fluid, it's so fast, but there's a technique to it. If you really love it and you actually want to get into it, because I'm like, oh, yeah, I could talk about this bitch for hours, even though it looks the way it is. It can look real simple to people, but uh -huh. I'm like, oh, no, I wanted this yeah. to look like this. This is what I yeah, wanted. Yeah, well, that, we talk about that a lot here, um, how, you know, uh, things look like basically it looks like this because it, it's not everybody thinks that stuff that looks like it could be an accident it, it wouldn't look that way yeah. if it was an accident no you know it's like not it, a true it's accident this is no. a manipulated like if this is a manipulated accident that's kind of funny yeah no people think that they're just like oh shoot a paint gun at that can and i get another coke oh yeah i think we might have or one oh we got a sprite or water or, or something, just something. <laughs> what a, yeah thank you <laughs> you have a topa chica Hell yeah. But one day we will. Tobias. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, but yes. that's what I'm just proud of and happy because it has a lot of my old, it just has a lot of nostalgia yeah. in it. A lot of like what What, what about do. it brings you back? This this right here, this white and black. Mm. Blue, I discovered that. The cake paint texture. It's just a lot of stuff I love. Pink. This, um, it looks, I was, I was laughing because I am, a, I'm a pansexual woman and the colors for like the pansexual like pride flag is yeah. like, these colors. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and what well, the only reason I picked these colors, which I thought was funny, um, was um, all of my art is in RGB. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That'll like, work. For a long time, I could only afford so much paint, so I would buy the biggest things of blue, yellow, and red, and make every other fucking color because I knew that you could at least do that. You yeah, could yeah. Make the other colors with these three. So yeah. My art Bob was, Ross yeah, style. Bob Ross. So I worked in those colors, and I've always worked in those colors, but for this one, I bought the neon version mm. of the colors. More CMYK is what I was thinking, because okay. I work a lot in digital, and yeah. I was working in digital I love for your years. Stuff. I love your stuff. I don't know if we yeah, can pull, we could up pull up her my Instagram. Art Instagram. You've been invited. Yeah. That's the handle. Yeah, that, that would be cool. I love when you do, uh, um, you can I've also find... Like I, to know digital. I love when you when you insert like there is a picture of you on the beach and you're like me oh. and my friends like I love that sort of With thing or like you getting out of the shower the and you're like yeah that's my are you talking about my Instagram this is my art Instagram that's her art Instagram which yeah. we should pull up but I, but I, I this stuff is all great too but when you're we talking my, about digital my Instagram because this is a lot of my like digital okay work. so you but see that picture down there on the bottom. Yeah, Actually. Let's scooch this out of the way. <laughs> so go 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 back up, plaster the other way. If you can, you can. Yeah, there you go. You, you go go the opposite direction, my man. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. Right there, the oh. beach. Oh, there's a beach shot. I'm blocking it. Where it's her and the monsters. Yeah, both of those. Yeah. I love that sort of thing. Like skulls, the, you also. Has the kraken. Yeah, the kraken. 
Yeah, I, I love, love it. So you know how surrealism is getting real popular now? It's yeah. It's kind of making its way like the Salvador Dali. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, I've been into that shit. It's always been my shit. I, I'm so bored of real fucking life. And I Instagram is like the place you get to fake everything. Mm -hmm. You get to really fake that shit. And I'm like, if I'm going to fake it, I'm going to really but fake it. But you're not, but I like that about you're not faking a lifestyle. No. People are faking lifestyles. No, yeah. That. I'm like, this is completely fake. But in my mind and on Instagram, I want you to think it's real. <laughs> yeah. Like the one where you have like, I don't know if you have like a snake coming out of your, oh, your body like or something. Like out of my stomach. Yeah. I was in the gas station and I was like, I really like my outfit. And I was like, I want to take a picture, but this picture is going to be so fucking boring mm -hmm. if I just take a picture of this. So I like did this pose and I was like looking at it when I was like in the car and I was like, oh, I know what I'm going to do to this. Because that's just kind of my nature. I was like, if I, yeah. if I was the person I wish I was, I would be so cool in my mind. I would have horns, I would have fangs, I would be able to like change my eye color, I would be able to do all this weird shit. Yeah, yeah. As a, but you can't. But on Instagram, it looks like I can't. No, it's super, it's super tight. I mean, this, that whole little series. And someone was like, oh my God, what's that in the background on this yeah, yeah. series? Yeah, yeah. I was like, it's, <laughs> It's a deep fake. I was like, it's real. I was like, I, was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I was like, I don't know. What you're, I was like, what are you guys all seeing? And everyone was like, the thing in the water. I was like, what thing in the water? Yeah, they were like, what park were you at? That's cool. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's that grab was my another piece. Birthday cake. Let's grab another piece. I'm gonna grab some. Whoa, yes. there's a lot going on here. Look at the back of that. Oh yes. Oh. This one. Which way? The yeah that wait. What is it? Oh this way. This is a this is a pear. This is a pair. Oh, I, I see would, the second one, yeah. yeah I, oh, I want to reveal all of them. You guys got to, y'all wish FOMO if you miss this gallery. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. This gallery is sick. Yeah. So this piece, this says um, there. Okay. I see the, that. The other one says hello. I like the low T. Yeah, that's right. The other one says hello. So it <laughs> says hello there. It's a pair. It's supposed to be hello there from yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer's Batman Hell Here when she breaks it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what yeah. It, that's what it's hello there is one of my favorite fucking words because I always think of hell here when I see it. Yeah, that's great. Oh, excuse me. I hope you guys caught that. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. And then that um, looks great like that too, by the way. Yeah. Look at just chilling there. Oh, I love how it looks on camera. I want it to look like something just growing, infesting. Can see the one? The, the do you want to see? Oh yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Yeah, and then but but we got to we got to we got to hold back so we're not. Oh, I just want to see it like next to each other. Oh yeah, that's tight. I like how the piece fell off. Yeah. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, that looks great. Hello there. I wanted it to look like something was just growing, and like a like just. What's like a car, a, car, a cancerous just like yeah that's malignant what this, that's what it reminds me lump of. coming off and all the, the needles in it is just like yeah it causes gnarly. you harm yeah it causes you harm this is one of the ones that causes you harm and it's hell here yeah there's it says packs. hello there it's so welcoming but it's a whole it's the whole underlying is just completely like it's not good <laughs> yeah no it's nothing about this is like negative like positive and it's actual like undertone but it's disgusting and that's what I like about it. Yeah. It's a lot of needles. Yeah, all the needles are fantastic. It's, it's like, it's um, pony beads, different multicolored plastic pony beads, and sewing pins and needles, a couple of nails, a, a couple of tacks. tacks here and there. Yeah. And it's all just lumped together, and I throw it on there, and then I kind of let it, yeah, I don't know, good. I let it sit, and let it like, lump down. Huge fan. But I want, yeah, like, I like, I like wanted to look like a, like a, something growing. That's why I did, like, the shape of it, and I kind of wanted it to be its own. Like, this is, like, not really like this, it's this. Yeah. Like, this is, like, a piece of your skin, and this is growing on it. Like, that's what it's supposed to be. Yeah. I'm feeling that. I think it's thick. This yeah. is something I'm going to keep playing with, of, like, using things to put texture on it. Because I do so much texture with paint. But I feel like I like exploring with um, something else. I think I'm going to keep going down that road of like adding things to the canvas without being too chashki. You know, a little, little, hold back a little bit. Yeah, but I, I mean, I think that, I think with layers, if there's a message, it, it almost doesn't matter. It can just like, as long as like it's, I, I, I don't know. I, I think of, I think of art in the same way that I also think of tattoos. Oh yeah. I'm not. I never judge anyone's tattoos. You can't. I don't care. You're not the person. Like, yeah. Who am I to do that? You know. 
That's and what like, I like about this is it's uh, it's very to the person. And that's yeah. what I wanted to be because I can try my best to be literal and be like, oh, this is why, this is the message I have, this is yeah. what I was thinking. But, you know, unless you unless you see the little placard, and, you know, if you're online, I'd rather you just be like, even if you're just like, oh, yeah, it looks cool. I'd be like, fuck yeah. Yeah. Thanks, well, man. It is cool. Well, <laughs> also, well, well also uh, you know, one of our big things here and one thing that I try to stay on top of all the time is I want people to be inspired to, to like, to, to do to try, like to be oh, curious, fuck yeah. you know. You gotta do. You gotta do. A lot of artists don't do. Yeah. They'll get all up in their head and they're like, "Yo, my art's going nowhere. Yeah. I'm not doing anything." And I'm like, "Are you making art? Are yeah. you at least still doing? Is there like if I if you're like my favorite one is like if you're like a like if you're like a writer, right? And you're like, no one's reading my shit. No one's like looking at whatever I've put out like on the internet or whatever I've submitted to people. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, I want to give up. You know, you get real flustered as an artist. And then let's say like the next day someone shows up and just offers you a book deal. Yeah. What if that happened? What if someone's like, yeah, I'm going to give you a book deal right fucking now. Do you have a book? Yeah. Do you have like half You're not a book? ready. Yeah. Do Always you have come half ready. Of a fucking book? Yeah, yeah. Do you even have like that much content within your just back disposal? to be ready for something like that yeah 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 no yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just need to do yeah this is 20 i did like it's just like preparation canvas. with anything you know like you're like what is it always i'll always be ready so you don't have to get ready yeah you know because this happened this whole gallery happened in like that kind of fashion i okay. went yeah, somewhere, i haven't i forgot to ask that That's yeah cool i went somewhere that i was interested in on a genuine whim i was just like i was like wow this place is cool i'm gonna go here i went to the place it was an art space mm -hmm. i walked around i let them know that i was there and i was like i'm very interested and i really think this is cool could i get a tour they toured me around. It's like MoMA artists. It's all these amazing people. It's these yeah. and someone in the uh, the the man who curated the place cares genuinely cares. As a white straight man, he actually like has this very um, he likes he knows how to pull that veil away and like be very honest about his stance and his privileges, but can express what he wants, which is like artists is to get paid and for artists is to have a space to create and to express what they want to express. Yeah, yeah. Because that's what you only need as an artist. And we got to talking and he was like, I'm gonna, we gotta do something. We're yeah. gonna do something and I would love you to consider doing it here at what, Flutter. What I, what I love is that but what in I LA, usually they go, oh, we gotta do something. Yeah. And then you never hear with the yeah. person again. But what if, because what if you're not ready? But yeah, I was ready you, that whole he time. Would, he yeah, he could have lost yeah, interest. He could have lost interest. I could have been, I could have waited too long. You know, there is such a thing as like taking a second, you yeah. know. Could have, I could have waited too long, but literally like the week before I went to Flutter, like before I'd even heard of it, I only heard of it like the day before I went. I was like, I just found it on Instagram. I was like, yeah. oh, I love Meow Wolf in New Mexico. Let's yeah. go check this place out. Yeah. So you think it's you think you think it's got a similar vibe or something? Or? It's, it is. It's like the same kind of interactive art space. Meow Wolf is the one that we we always talk about how it would be so sick to have like a Fuck Meow yeah. Wolf in the middle of like the the IE or something. Meow Wolf's this giant interactive art place, and it's. I can't even explain it. It's just, it's a whole other world. That's what I loved about it. And there's oh. a little piece of it in LA that's where I wanted to go. Yeah, that's cool. But if that's I, cool. Uh, I was, I well, had we'll this idea. Monday. I had this idea, like, like a, I was like, I want to do an event with art. It's all I kept telling myself. And I was like, and I had bought t like a pack of 20 canvas. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to fucking do 20 pieces. Yeah. I was like, let's just, I was like, if it comes up, it comes up. And then I literally came up like that weekend. That's awesome. What if I hadn't been ready? What if you hadn't been ready? No, that's... Be ready. Be ready. Bitch, BRB. <laughs> be ready, bitch. Can I go live? Yeah. On my Instagram? Oh, yeah, of course you can. Someone... People keep DMing me, you should go live. Yeah, go live. And I'm always like... Go, go live on yours. What do you want me to do? We, well, we can, we can go live on yours, and then they can just see the green yeah. screen. They won't be able to see that. Or I'm going to do... Here, I'll do like a little... I'll just film that. <laughs> that's hilarious. Because they should be able to hear it. This. It'll have a it'll have a, a lag. Oh yeah, huh? Okay, well then. Because we could put it in one of these stands I'm and just put let, it on us I'm going to do that cool like, oh, you're behind the scenes, you're you're a fly on the wall while this is happening. We want to. We have we. Oh really? Can I just can I prop it up on your like, yeah. like prop it up over here? Yeah. Gotcha. Where yeah. should it go? Yeah, we have a we have like a little. Uh, okay, yeah, you can. Live, right? Yeah, it should, right? 
I don't know, I don't go by very often. I did it like once and I was just it's uncomfortable. <laughs> we have the little we have the little guy too. Somewhere. It's in the office. Yeah, hold on. Blair's gonna hook it up. We're going live, everybody. What up? We're going live. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, we're at um, Child Support Studios, and we are doing, uh, we're talking about my art today for the gallery coming up on Monday. On Monday. Yes. On Monday. So uh, sit back, relax. We're getting fucking cute. Whatever. Go over there. You can go. They can watch. Uh, we'll do questions later. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a live question in the air, Q&A. You know, for a long time, I felt really stupid on YouTube when I was like eight years old because I would see Q&A and I was like, what the fuck does Q&A stand for? That's but, funny. But I was like, oh. I love that you were eight years old watching YouTube. I remember when YouTube came Have out. Have you seen babies on iPads today? Oh, no. Babies on iPads, like in 2019. They can just like... Oh yeah, they can. They, yeah, they definitely. Can, they'll they'll be ordering Navigate. Fresh Direct. Snap. Yeah. <laughs> if my baby ordered like Papa John's. Yeah, yeah. House, I don't know. <laughs> that if would I'd be, be like, mad. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it gets there, and you're like, I know, I'm not into. Yeah, the, I, I didn't. Who asked for extra extra sauce or whatever? That'd be a weird conversation with my kid. Like, thanks, but yes. you can't be doing this. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's more. do one more. Yeah. Let's do one the, more. The rig. Yeah, you can slide we only, we, we Ooh, I think I want this one. Oh, yeah. You can, oh, oh, yeah. That one's fresh off the runway. Yeah, fresh. this one I like. Fresh prime. Because I love little caricatures like this. Like, we have, um, we, ha uh, I love two, two, two guys and a live camera over here. <laughs> two <light bulbs>. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. This guy's cool. What is this? What it says, I'm losing my fucking mind. <laughs> That's what I thought it said. Losing I didn't want to butcher mind. it. So, what inspired this one? I love, I don't, I, I hope that everyone can see the texture. You can definitely see it on that. This little, like, yeah, the, plaid. The plaid texture to it. I was, oh my god, I was having such a rough fucking day. And I was, I locked myself in the studio. I will, so that means I have to finish. And that's what I, when I tell myself, when I tell myself to lock myself in the studio, that means finish your art. Yeah. Don't be like, oh, I'm not thinking of it today. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not feeling it. I'm just going to go. I'm like, okay, no, you have to make something till you like it. Do it till it's like, you're like fucking yeah. satisfied. So. Yeah. I had spray paint. I was like, I don't know what else I could spray paint. I've spray painted every shape and texture on Earth. Oh, hello. <laughs> we could just prop it up on the computer. It's more fun for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's more fun for the for the people at home, right? Um, so, yeah, I was just like, I had all this spray paint, and I was like, what else could I do with spray paint? I've tried all kinds of textures because with me and spray paint, you know, I feel like you can do a lot. You can do stencils, you know, it's good for stencils and it's good yeah. for like if you wanted to do graffiti and mm -hmm. like bombing. But when you're working on canvas, it's like, ah, yeah. okay, you have to kind of control what this is. That, that's what I was going to say. So I didn't, I, I was, I was uh, thinking that could be spray paint, but at the same time, I, you know, it's, a lot of people won't use it on canvas. Because but I love what it does on canvas. It gives you that weird like fady spray paint, you know, like when you look at, when you work on like paint. and shit, you know, like MS paint. I, I'm, <laughs> I, I, I like when bright colors are dulled. Like when it gives me this, like it's cloudy. Mm -hmm. um, it's not like so cross hatched, like it yeah. goes straight lines. Yeah, yeah, it bleeds into one another. So it came out that way, and I was I was really happy. And I just kind of like this plaid texture, and I was like, oh, well, it feels. I was like, I like how it just kind of had its own texture. I was like, I could even if it was on my iPad, like what I like to work in, like on my studio, like yeah. digital studio, I'll. I like fades, I really like gradients, so I was like, I'm just gonna put something on top of it, something very statement, something that doesn't involve like this, just uses it. Yeah. So, um, cause there's a couple in here that are kind of, uh, I like to show range, yeah. I can draw. <laughs> yeah. I can do a straight line, I can do yeah. a straight black clean line, yeah. and not all the, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, so this is what this was, and uh, it was supposed to be kind of I love the I love the little ghost guy. Though. Yeah, a little cute guy. I, you know, like pop art, like that girl crying. I, I'm a huge fan of pop art. That's kind of where it or started. Or like the blue dog in New Orleans, or yes. and all the all the new yes. stuff down there. Yeah, or like 
I mean, we have, so there's a, um, um, some kids that we work with that, that are rad, and, and we, Blair and I did a collab with them where we did the jerseys for the USA grappling team. Mm -hmm. Um, it was, it was like so wild, yeah. Like so Team USA is grappling team, but like the background was like it was very graf by graffiti artists that we work with, and then for the first time I think ever they went out with uh, uh, we could show you one, but but a caricature of these guys made called they called it the Octo Skull, and it's kind of like, like these vibes, but like it was like that's like that's that's our thing, that's the Octo what we Skull, do. you know? Can we put the Black Sabbath back on the on the loop back on the thing? Yeah. Did they get knocked over the camera? No, or I think I, I. If you want to screw it in, then uh, we can adjust the camera. But um, yeah. So it's just supposed to be pop art. Pop art. Just supposed to be. It just. I'm very. When I like to be literal, I guess it's as literal as you can get. You there know, it is. Words. That, that's nice. Titled it. Little ghost. Oh, there's Ozzy and the ghost. If you guys uh, aren't that's watching, the, what's the website called? Uh, ChildSupportStudios.com. If you want to see the green screen, yeah, action. we're we're live right now. This green screen that you're seeing and the thing on it, there's a we're putting cool shit on it all day. So go to what is it? ChildSupportStudios.com. <laughs> ChildSupportStudios.com. <laughs> yeah, the old Child Support com. Studios. And we're live, and uh, yeah, and we're just talking about art still. It's still what's going on. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm losing my fucking mind with the ghost boy, and that's what's going on. Well, what, what, so, when you started this, did you, were you thinking about the ghost boy first, or were you just, did you just think about the spray paint, and you were like, I'll go from there? Well, I wanted something, like, a, I wanted a person here, I wanted, like, a fate, I wanted something of, like, with emotion, I guess. I was thinking of like the pop art girl crying. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of like this weird face I like to draw. I just wanted something here. And then I was just like, I like this ghost because I kind of feel like him. Mm -hmm. Who is he? Who are they? I can't even gender it. I just like to say he as a genderless thing, which is funny. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. They, I, I, who I, I are make, they? I make that mistake a lot and it's like, I don't know why. Because yeah. I'm just trained that male is whatever. But they, yeah. who are they? Why are they losing their mind? What's going on? <laughs> and they were as you. They 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 is they, you. They, 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 is they is you. you. They is you. <laughs> they is you. That's it right there. They is you. They is you. So the two youths. This one. Oh yeah. Um cool. Do we we'll do one more or do we not? We can do one more, yeah. We'll do one more. And then make every well hold on. Is that a good space for that? That's fine, right? Yeah. Oh these are I'm so glad I found this IKEA bag. That's so, so Shout out IKEA. Oh, this is very me. Oh, yeah, this, this one's is sick. This is very me. I posted the digitals of this Yeah, one. I've seen that. Those are great. Yes. Yeah. That, that is, that's, that's how I feel usually. Oh, excuse me. Oh, my God. Sprite. Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so I, what I did with this one is it's a pair again. So there's one that goes with the one, and mm -hmm. um, I drew it in digital first. Okay. Because what I wanted to do is again to show range of like I can show control and to show that like I can express without you know so much. Mm -hmm. I uh, was like, okay, I want to work in flat black marker, like those thick paint. It's like a inch wide like paint marker it's real thick marker and so i was like okay yeah. before i just take it to the canvas i did it in digital like uh, exactly this color and everything i just try to do it on digital first and then use chalk and then just traced it because i was like oh yeah free handing in that marker and this it was too much but i'm just so proud of how it came out yeah i think it's great it's, it's really a mouth like being pulled open and then, like a skull coming through but i wanted this but I Constant like that it's line. outlined. Yeah, I wanted this like the it could be made in like one line, a yeah, couple that's, lines. that that that's that's what I dig. I could draw it over and over again, like on a napkin kind yeah. of thing. That's what I like when I think of a doodle. Like a good doodle is something that like you could do this again. Yeah, yeah, I love that. When I was a kid, I used to draw Snoopy's head all the time like that because you know you could just do the ear. <laughs> And then like this, and then there's his head. I like that. I, free it was like flow. the first thing I ever learned how to draw, and yeah. I thought it was the coolest thing because it was just like <laughs> I could be like, oh yeah, I got Snoopy for you. When you're like, oh, I have, I have some. I think I used to draw a lot of Hello Kitty. He's the fucking cat with yeah. ears. <laughs> but um, 
yeah, this one's, I'm really proud of how this one came out. This one I'm hoping to put on to the studio's apparel. Mm, yeah, I was going to say that this, that, that's, I mean, maybe that's why I yeah. dig it so much because even like, like, it's for, for, I, I don't, I'm, I'm a guy that's either in all black or lots of colors, you know, and I, and I, I, I feel like I would love something with even with that on there too, with that color. Right, like the pop. That's what I was because this was sitting as it was, and I sealed it when it was a little wet and it started running. That's where all this like run came from. I was like, oh, I fucking love that. So I started sealing it harder and like the spray let it run more. Yeah. And I was um, before I didn't want to put any other colors on it. I wanted it to just be pink and black. But all the other work had the the neon. I was like, I like the neon. So yeah. I wanted only it to be a pop of color here so this one happened that's cool yeah so that's hopefully cool. this one ends up on the apparel end because my studio this is this whole gallery yeah, so what's the deal with the apparel yeah, this whole gallery is an announcement for the opening of my studio and my studio you know i'm making my art pieces and i'm working but it's going to be a functioning studio i'm going to be selling prints i'm going to be selling t-shirts well okay. not exactly t-shirts but i'm going to be selling apparel mm -hmm. i'm going to be selling like merchandise in a sense because in my belief I don't want to contribute to the fast fashion I don't want to just do like a cotton t-shirt and slap my shit on it and sell it and it's call it good yeah. I want to create pieces that have some kind of handmade some kind of recycled sustainable element to it yeah but they are gonna feature like my art and my works yeah 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 no that's cool that's cool and then it's also all, like you can also go a route where you can tell people like that's a cool because like this oh yeah that is sick. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. It's just like I love Black Sabbath. Um, yeah. I, I I would go as far as like I like I'm obviously I have a lot of patches to still put on this, but like I like to just put I would love I love shit like this, and then I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm gonna put that patch on that jacket I've had I'm for just 20 throw it on years. There. Just you know? toss it on. Yeah, in, in some place that doesn't matter. Um, These are always more digestible than, you know, like a real abstract piece. It's funny when you say digestible. We talk about that a lot. Yeah, here, that's unfortunate. Like, but as an artist, the Catch-22, if you want to make a career off your work, here's a fun tip for everybody. If you're an artist and you want to survive as an artist and not truly starve too hard, I guess, yeah. you have to commercialize, merchandise, yeah. monetize, yeah. eyes, eyes, all your art. You gotta yeah. do something with it. You gotta. You can't j unless you want to sell your canvas. But then again, some people will sell canvas for like thousands of dollars, and this is not worth a thousand dollars. Like quite literally, if yeah. I wanted to sell it, I wouldn't be comfortable because I'm like, I know that like the materials I used and like all the stuff I could have done. It's not. I would be lowballing you as yeah. a consumer. Like just yeah. being like, you should take this because I made it. Yeah. No, I would. I want if I was gonna sell like my canvas for that much, it would be. It have to be like framed. Yeah, yeah. That'd be all the like. Yeah, all a this lot other of shit. it. A lot of it comes with the framing and everything. Yeah. You know, it's ready to go. And and also, uh, I mean, I I think that I think that it's for me. I I I know that it's all subjective, but uh, it takes. You know, you have to figure out how to monetize something that is subjective, and that's where you know maybe focusing not on selling this yeah. all the time, but like you said, like digestible. That's where sell that's the digestible where I shit. Try to focus. Have like focus. a spin off into that. Yeah, I that's mean, where I every, try to do the focus. I mean, that's how I do when I manage people. I have to do the same thing mm -hmm. with them. You know, it's like, and when you look at it, like Instagram is a perfect place to go and look at like what, what, what. Oh, a spill. Uh, look, it kind of looks like it got sucked into the table. Red alert! <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god. Um, that looks kind of cool. But like, it's okay. It's, I'll it's, drink it it's, off the it's table. It's fine there. That makes anyone feel better. Don't, don't, don't trip on it. Lap it up. <laughs> um, but I, I think I think that the people that I represent aren't digestible for everyone. You know, oh, yeah. there's aspects of them that are, and they break those off and sell those aspects. And digestible <laughs> is so, you know, it really, it's just like, what the fuck's popular on Instagram right now? What, what would go trending, like, in the next couple of weeks, would it still be hot to talk about? That's all digestible Yeah, is. like, like, the, uh, like, I don't know, a couple weeks back, apparently, the, the only thing that was digestible on, on the internet was a chicken sandwich or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah. 
it's, it's real it's digestible. It's just blatant. It has to, you have to get it. You yeah. know, it can't be it has, it's not shallow, but it just can't be deep because if you deep, it's, it's not digestible. It needs you gotta an think about it. It needs an explanation. Yeah. This is like oh, you look at it, you're like oh, I love that shade of pink. I yeah. like this because I can see that it's a cool skull guy. I, I like love that. if you if you like skulls in general, you're cool with this. Yeah, and if I would, but if I told you my whole long and drawn on like this is why I painted it, and like then yeah. you would be bored. Yeah. It'd be so you would be bored. Yeah, I mean, I want to know what the little splashes of blood are up there. That was a happy accident. Okay. I these have been hanging out with each other all around my studio. Yeah, and, and it just so thank you so much, guys. Yeah, and it just and, and it just it picked up from one of these guys. Yeah, but it's just great that and it, it happened on this. Right? It works on this. A little bit of blood. Yeah. Little bit of blood up I mean, it works to where I like me knowing you. I'm like, oh, why did I, I see there's blood on there? That almost looks like real blood, actually. How long have we been live? Yeah, what have we been doing? About an hour. Really? Well, since we're at the hour, yeah. Uh, if you guys want, to, I'll take your questions. Ask your questions. Ask away. Type on your little type keyboards. Get on to type in, and then I will answer with my mouthy mouth. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the fuck it goes. Yeah. Thank you. So, Blair, yeah. if you could be so kind to let me know what the people are saying. I'm just loving you. Whenever they're saying it. Hearts and eyeballs. Oh, hearts and eyeballs. I like it. Yeah, That's so funny. You know what? We can it do one more. Spike. You want to pick one out? <laughs> yeah. yeah, come pick one out. We'll, yeah, come come pick one out. And yeah, one. yeah. We'll, we'll Plaster, do. which one do you, should you grab? There's Lauren, a Lauren says hi. Hi, Lauren. What up, Lauren? What up, Lauren? Lauren. Where will the studio be? I just... Uh, which ones have you not looked at? These, these where over. will the studio be? Oh, yeah, yeah this where, one where's the studio? Like this you, her studio or the art show? Cass Rosenit wants to know where the studio will be. My studio doesn't have like a visit. Ooh, yeah, we could do this one. Yeah. My studio doesn't have like a visit location yet. It's going to be an online functioning studio. But eventually, I'm hoping to, if I, you know, get into the apparel, to have like a LA location and maybe like, you know, move it around. But for now, it's going to be a very interactive online space. That's we could also all, we could also use one of our studios for an afternoon or something if you ever wanted to do that. Fuck yeah! You know, just um. keep in tune. Follow my studio's page. You've been invited. That's where all my news comes in. All the updates about like what's going on. But here. then, if they're LA local or in town Monday, they can go to. Flutter experience to see my gallery, Blood and Diamonds, September 9th, this Monday from 6 to 9 on La Brea Avenue. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. Yes. Yeah. But this one is a uh, hi. This one was picked out. This is it. This is this one. This one. God, it, I'm mad. I did the sealer. This was silver. It was a gorgeous, super bright, shiny silver, and the sealer made it. Gray. It has kind of a metallic cast to it. Yeah. But um, yeah. This one, it was way more shiny. But I feel like it kind of still works. I still like the. I really like the imagery on it. This what? uh, it's not exactly a clown, even though it kind of looks like a clown. Um, in my culture, like a lot of the, we have our own shapes and symbols. Yeah, I want to hear about that. Sankarals That's Apache like culture, and okay. a lot of them are, uh, I don't know. To me, they look like lowercase things. It's like uncanny shapes mm -hmm. so I've been drawing this smiley face with these four pointed stars for eyes because we don't when we draw stars it's not like the five point or the five point you know like Patrick yeah. star it's like a four point star okay like a cross it's almost. like a cross almost right but like in my mind I'm like it's a star but it looks yeah. like a cross that's interesting yeah so this um, yeah because if you look at like a, if you use like your eyeballs and they're all fuzzy, or you look at a camera that's blurry at lights, especially like in the sky, it, they have like the. No, I used to look up at lights in the ceiling when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. When I, you know, there's a brief. <laughs> loves you. I love you too. I'm alone. I love that drawing you did. <laughs> She's crying. <laughs> She's crying. I'm crying for you. <laughs> But yeah, so the a lot of this one was just kind of like I wanted to be a little freestyle, you know just really, spray paint. You know what's really interesting? There's something there too for me. Ooh. I don't know why, but there's oh. something there for it's me. It's all about changing perspective. Yeah, like when I look at it like that, Change and you have the stars, and the stars are just a little bit more drawn out. I feel a moon here. Yo, see, change in perspective. Yeah. Always take 
art. And no what's, way. And you know how like the moon looks like usually like they always draw the moon with like looking like Swiss cheese and holes in it. Have you ever seen the moon like that? But it's always a s complete circular moon. It when they really do that. does look like a moon now that it's on the side. Yeah, and it, it looks like. Hola. Hola. Como estas? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I, either way, I'm not trying to. And there's a smidge of glitter and bubbles. Yeah, but I like this it. one I wanted to be freestyle. It's just spray paint. Do you do you do you name any of your pieces? These all are, they're all gonna have names. I'm typing up. They're all little. Yeah. Like the part I could go on about for hours. They're little, little mm -hmm. exposed and mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're all. This is it for now. I love it. Ooh, battery's low. Ooh. All right. Anyone have a question? We got Anybody have a question? I'm going to answer your questions right now. You have to ask a question right now. I'm going to give you like 30 seconds. Homeboy. Oh, Who's, got this? Who's got this? <laughs> Who's got this? Who's got this? Who wants to pick in my brain and get to know me? Favorite form of art from Katie Mendez. Favorite form of art? I guess abstract expressionism. How's your day? Pretty good. What inspires you? Death. Ooh. Satan. When does the show come back on? I really love the show. You're going to make me cry. Oh my god. Everyone go at Netflix. Every time you want to ask me that question, go at Netflix too. Go ask them. Go ask Netflix why the show's gone and then get back to me. <laughs> Not a question, but miss and love you. Oh, I love you too. Favorite current <laughs> musical artist? Young Baby Tate. Do you listen to music while you're working? Oh yeah. Tons of music. Lots of music. How would you describe your style of art? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> a loose. <laughs> but, uh, that is it. That is a great place. We have a lot to ask Netflix. That's a great place for us to start the arts from blowing up. Bye! I don't have anything to fucking like. Yeah. Okay, anyway, well, stream chambers, go at Netflix and tell them why. And then go follow my studio, you've been invited, and go follow Jesse's studio. At Child Support Studios. Jesse is my lovely agent, by the way, everybody. Thank Hi, you everyone. for getting into this live. Bye. We'll hope to do this again. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. So fun. Me and my battery. No, 